Hello guys and welcome to Wounded Trading. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the Gridbot and how to set it up on Hyperliquid Exchange. But before we begin, I just want to remind you that with our integration to Hyperliquid, all the Hyperliquid traders can trade on our platform completely free. That means you don't need a subscription in order to use all the premium features that are available on our platform. Okay, so let's dive in into the grid board. First of all, let's talk about the mechanics on how the grid board actually works. The very classical approach is that you're going to have a horizontal channel in which you split it into half. And at the bottom of the channel, if the price will go down, you will start buying the asset. At each level, you will purchase a fixed amount of the asset. And each level will have its own individual take profit targets. So once the take profit target is reached, the position that was opened on the previous level will be closed. If your grid board is actually going towards the center a midpoint of this channel, all the long positions will be closed. If it goes above, the same logic applies to the short selling. So you're going to short sell the positions when the price is above the midpoint of the channel. We also have the long grid board, which have the same logic, but operates only in the long direction. And at the same time, we do have the short only grid board, which is the opposite logic. And it will short sell your asset if you establish the downward trend for the asset. So let's move on to the setting of the grid board on Wunder Trading. And I will go through the features and how to set it up on Hyperliquid Exchange. Okay guys, so now I'm logged in into my Wunder Trading dashboard and you can easily go from here into the grid board. You can either do this by the quick start menu or you can use the menu on your left hand side and also go to the grid board. The first thing that you will see on your screen is the small explanation video of how the grid board works. You can also find more information about this in our help center. And you can launch the product tour that will help you and assist you to launch your first grid board. The interface of the grid board is very similar to the TCA board that was our previous video. So the whole interface is divided into three main sections. The one on the left is the profit optimized pairs, which means our system will dive into the backtest and go through several settings on the grid board to show you the most optimized one. If you just press copy, the settings will be automatically applied on the right hand side. In the middle, you do see the graph of the asset that you selected and the channel that for now is a neutral board, which means that if the price from that point will go down, it will start to buy the asset and will sell it on the next level. And if the price will go up, that will be meaning that the bot will start the short selling procedure. On the right hand side, in this column, you would be able to input all the uh, settings that you require. So first of all, you will need to select the exchange. For example, in our case, it's going to be hyperliquid. Then you need to select the pair and then select the direction. It's either going to be long, neutral or short. So for example, for the long position, it will provide you only with the long um, levels, which means you're going to buy at each level and sell on the next one. So let's start with a very, very simple long only bot. For that, I would use the grid type of the bot, which is going to be long. I'm going to use $20 as my amount per trade. And then I will go through the additional settings that I over here. So at the moment, I have the interval board, which means that I have to determine the exact interval in which this board is going to go into operate. So there is a lowest price and the highest price, the profit per grid, which is the size between the grid levels and the number of grids. If I change the number of grids, for example, to 10, the profit per grid will automatically adjust. Then there is a number of things that you can set like take profit, stop loss or trailing stops or stop trigger price or pump protections. Those are different features that are available 
I will not go through each of them individually because we do have a very detailed and structured video about the grid boards, all the features and how they work. And I will provide the link in the description below. What also distinguish Wunder Trading grid board from other bots is the position settings, which means that you can not only put the trailing stop and stop loss for the whole grid board, but you can select this for the individual positions while the grid board is open. After all the settings are filled in, you can run the backtest or run the optimizer. The backtest will give you the results for the past two uh, weeks, depending on the settings that you selected. So in this particular case, because we just selected the things at random, it will not give you the positive result. However, you can adjust all the time the settings and run the backtest with the new ones. So for example, let's increase the number of grid levels, therefore reducing the profit per grid in terms of a percentage, and once again run the backtest result. Still we can see, because there was a downward trend, the long only bot will not generate you the profit. So maybe you would like to adjust it for the neutral bot. So let's split it equally across the same distance and run the backtest one more time. In this case, it's much better. Even though it started as originally with having some loss, but because the price of an asset stayed more or less in the same region, you are able to accumulate quite a nice profit. So this is just an example of how you can fine tune your board and then run a backtest to see what is the optimal outcome for this. Okay, let's now look at the board start condition. Before that, we were using the immediate entry, which means that the board will launch straight away and will be looking for the first intersection with either the short level or long level. What you can also do is you can select the indicator. The indicator will guide your board to when to start. And that will mean that it can either go in the long direction or short direction. For example, if you have a long only board and you select the RSI, it will wait until the RSI will be in the oversold region and then will launch the board according to your grid levels. The detailed settings of the RSI or any other indicator that we use like MACD, Bollinger Bands or Price Change, you can find in our help center. There is also a webhook alert feature. This one is an extremely useful one. If you do have an indicator from TradingView and you would like the start condition of the bot be based on your own indicator. In that case, you would be able to send the signal when the grid board should start and then choose the long, neutral or short direction for this. The settings, once again, are going to be applied based on the settings that you input into this section. In order to pass the information through the webhook, you will be guided on how to do this, which webhook you need to use, which entry you need to put in, and then there are several options for the exits. So will you allow your bot to restart once it close the uh, current positions? Or what would you like the bot to do when the stop alert action is triggered? And you do have these alert messages that you will need to put into your alerts that you created on TradingView. Once those are done, you can just save the alerts and wait for the signal. Also in this video, I want to cover the AI bot because it uses exactly the same logic in terms of the execution of the orders. It will use the grid bots. So let's go into the AI bot section. Over here, you would be able to create your first bot, select the hyperliquid exchange, and then you would be able to select the risk level, either low, balanced or high. The risk level depends on the amount of funds that you're going to invest into the signal grid bot. The overall idea of this bot in particular is that we're using the AI assistance in order to select the pairs. So our bot is monitoring the whole market, is waiting for the most favorable condition based on the RSI entries, and will select the certain number of assets on which it will apply the grid bot. 
and it will automatically adjust for the levels and will use the most optimized settings. There is also an option in terms of uh, selecting the actual pairs that you want to trade using this AI bot. So basically what you can do is you can select multiple pairs and only those pairs are going to be monitored by the AI bot. Only then it will run the optimized conditions for them and will apply the most optimized settings. That means you don't need to monitor the market yourself. So if you want to trade with the grid bot, but use it with multiple assets and make sure that you are all the time trading with the most optimized settings, this is the way forward. Once you create the bot, the card will appear and will ask you to confirm your settings. Once you hit the create button, it will start monitoring the market and will start searching for the trades. Okay, so at the end, I just wanted to give you some practical long term advice. If you really want to trade with the grid bot and you don't want to manage it accurately every week or so and adjust the channels and see how it goes, but you just want your funds to carry on working throughout the time, then what you can do is you can select the long grid bot only, select the exchange for the hyperliquid, select the BDC pair, for example, and then adjust the levels for quite a large amount. So for example, let's put the lowest level at 29 or 30,000. Now you can definitely see that for that level, you will need to have almost a thousand on your balance in order to trade it. But if you don't want to use any leverage, you can adjust it based on your current balance. So basically for that, you will need to increase the profit per grid. So let's make it 8%, for example. In this case, you are not using all of your balance. You still have the very wide channel in which you're going to be earning once the price is going to be bouncing between the levels. And you can stay in the market for an extremely long period of time, making sure that you're not going to be liquidated. So this is a very practical example of how to use it and this is the long-term grid board that can be quite stable and stay on the market for a long period of time. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video quite interesting and you can see that all the features that we are talking about are quite flexible and are going to be suitable for any type of traders. So if you would like to set it up automatically, you would like to use the AI grid board to monitor the market for you, or you would like to send your own signals from TradingView as a starting condition for the grid board, everything can be done in Wunder Trading. And once again, it's completely free for hyperliquid traders. All the premium features are available, so you don't need to have a subscription plan, and free plan is more than enough. Thank you very much for watching, and best of luck with your trading.